Okay, so uh, it's Xavier back in the uh, Bonsai Retreat. I've had a nice bit of lunch. Um, I've just had a look at Tony doing a muck project. Amazing, these little sort of three or four minute projects he's doing. Um, definitely, definitely some stuff to look forward to. But yeah, I suddenly thought, do you know what, I've got to stop watching other people do Bonsai and get back out and uh, hit this, uh, this cascade. It's not going to be traditional. I did a little bit of study of cascades and the, the thing that's always stopped me is I haven't had that classic sort of sit arch that you need to make it look like a natural cascade and this if you look at it it's very very straight all the way up but I think if I can get some movement in it what I'm interested in is I've got this nice long length here and then what I do rather than following this one down I then use this one so I get a taper and just I'm going to create the levels basically so first things first I need to put some wire on it don't I um, I don't know why I did that funny voice. It wasn't even a funny voice, actually. There's glare off my forehead. There shouldn't be. It's quite dark. Okay. Um, I've got it in this pot like this, actually, because it gives it just a bit of stability. The tree itself isn't that stable in the soil itself, so I want to get it fully wired up before I, uh, I pot it up. So, let's get some wire on, shall we? Put your hands up if you want to see me put wire on. I thought so. Okay, I've, uh, I've wired this out all the way along there and also this back one here because I think that's going to form the top apex. What I do know is I just want to put a little bit of one support but I'm going to want to bend this just a little bit. So I've just straightened some of my old wire and now I need to uh, Okay, well that should be enough on there. And now I'm going to try and work out the orientation. So that I just create just a little bit of a... And also it brings this one up. So that I can create Right, so I've created just a little bit of movement in the trunk there. I might do a little bit more. Um, obviously, I've got this set up now so that it can act as an apex, an apical up there. What I first need to do now is work out exactly where my first branch level is going to be. I've got a nice one here. I like the look of that one. So that's probably where, although I could go one higher up, really fascinating because I've never done it so I've got to think about bringing it down but not taking the angle so much that obviously not well it's a good thing I'm not going to need this because as you see there I've already decided what to do with it that was my uh, my careful wiring technique probably won't need that either to be honest but get rid of a little bit of that Same here, we're not going to need all of that, so we can get that out of the way, get that out of the way. Okay, I've got that branch there. I've also got to remember that I've got to be doing my bending in the direction of the coils as well. And where it goes down, you want to have something coming out. So we've got this one here, or potentially this one. Actually, I like this one better. I'm going to go down again. And then, very, very bizarre trying to do something you've never tried before. Okay. If that's got a former, I'll worry about that in a minute. Let's 
sure about this thing here actually. I, I was thinking of having two at different levels, but I've actually what I need to do is develop these ones as the first pad level. Just wondering if I can go a bit sharper on this. Is it too steep? No. So that will be a pad level wired out. There'll be one here. I need to have a little look at it before I keep going because it sort of looks right, doesn't it? Okay, well, this is definitely a challenge. Um, I think I've got the angle a lot better uh, and it's going to allow me to, to do some wiring of some of these branches to create the different levels that I need. I mean looking back there I can see a nice it's almost 45 de just just on the 45 degree um, it actually looks nicer here. Now what I'm doing here is establishing primary structure I need to get that initial structure in place first and then after that I might go around with a little bit of wire afterwards but I think I think there I think we've got the basis of my Chinese elm Cascade. I like it, definitely. Um, right, I need to decide whether I really need this. I mean, truth is, Cascade, I don't need that back one, but I'm just wondering whether I can create something just at the back here that just gives it counterbalance. Well, I've added some more wire because I like wire, and I've just put this one out in this sort of way, and I've moved this out up here to try and create all well, the potential for these to be wired eventually into what will become an apical region. Um, obviously we've got this the way it's cascading down here um, and the, the, the drops are coinciding with where I've got some horizontal branching I can do to create pads and then I've created this one here that almost runs in the same way down. I don't know whether I'll ever keep it but I keep them they come in together to begin with and then slowly split out. We've got this one will be a forming one. And then further down here, so we've got a major um, uh, cascade, and then a, a little daughter cascade with it. So that's where I'm starting the shape from. And the good thing is, in the end, as this all grows out, um, I should be able to then perhaps make different decisions on this little daughter cascade, um, whether I need this back branch. And how this will work. Um, all I'm going to do now is shorten a lot of the branches because I know I'm not going to be wiring out the length so I can just shorten everything out. That will wire out that way so that I can do what needs to be done with it. Now obviously I'm clearly I'm not going to need this great big length out here but this will form one of the lower pads. And ideally, if I can use clip and grow just here, I've got a new little branch. So I might actually, I'd like to avoid having to use too much. So basically where I can, I'm going to try and avoid having to put too much wire on. Because I know it'll happen. When I let the wire go, even getting this off, if the growth really uh, shoots out, it's going to be hard work. So if I have a look at different points where there's a natural, I already know, I'm not going to want all this length here or there. There's the first major, well there's two junctions here, so I've got little branches there. Um, that little branch there, so we'll see how that grows. Under here, cut it back to there, quite have to let that go out for now. This one is coming out from under here. So I've got a little one here, so we'll get taper if I cut back to that one. And as I say, I don't need to wire anything yet. Just rely on the clip and grow method. Um, here, probably, that's the one, that, that one there I'd love to grow out. And I don't really, in fact, I'm gonna see what happens. I don't wanna wire it. Here, further out, the paddies. I'm not gonna wire it. 
then truly we've got one at the back here we want it to clear this so we probably don't want to go much further than there we've got a lovely one here but we don't want that pointing up we've got this here but there's a nice downward flowing one there so we're going to go for that downward one there probably won't need this one but we'll let it grow for now but we don't want the top bit Moving on here, we're going to have the first horizontal pad. We've got growth there and there. So let's just take it back to there. This up one, we don't need the up one. Get rid of that. Got one close in there. We've got this coming out that way. This is a bit more of an awkward branch. I might actually put a bit of wire on this one. Okay, so I've just wired out this one and this one. All I want to do, bring it in closer, and then turn it out. Again, just giving it a, just a slight direction on it. Probably used the wrong thickness of gauge of wire on that, to be fair. So we'll get rid of that. This we need to actually shorten. And actually, I'm going to go even truer to clip and grow on this. Okay, so we've got little pads there. This will form pads there. Now, we look here. This is quite an interesting because I've got a nice little pad here, but we've got up one there. I've got a choice. I could wire it out, or I could go with the direction. I mean, this one's actually, I could do with that one being a bit lower down. So I might put a bit of wire on that. But I like, there's going to be a change of taper on that. So do you know what? Long term, let's just cut that. Even here. Let's just cut it and see what happens. In fact, we've got a branch here versus here. So I know how much these grow. So let's let it grow. Let it grow. Okay, gosh, it's all thin now, isn't it? All right, we want this to come out just a little bit. Now I've got this branch on this side. Don't want this one crossing in. So we'll get rid of that one. Uh, this one here, we don't want it up there. Hmm. Now I'm going to continue. That's an awkward one because it's coming straight towards us, but I can't really wire can't really wire it. So if I actually direct that one. If I direct that one, do I want that one or do I have that one instead? There's a much better gap between the two there. Because what you don't want to do is pack it out too much. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely coming on. It's it's the best I've ever done for something like this. So I'm happy. I'll uh, I'll keep working away. I think it's looking like a cascade. Um, just wired these ones here. Probably need to pull that down just a little bit. This one may get removed eventually. This one up here, which I'm probably going to go high on it. And then this one over here. When it grows, there's going to be pads and layers that I'll be able to work with. And I'm going to let that bush right out. Um, all I need to do, I mean, this is going to clip back further. I like what we've got here. Quite like this whole flow. Then we just need to clear up a little bit up the top, I think. So, and this again, I am going to be reliant. I don't want anything up. I don't want that top thing up there. I've given it a bit of height there, but it's probably not going to need to be that high. Certainly, I don't need all that back there. Or well, truth be told, all that there. There we go. Um, this back one, I'm really not sure what I'm doing with this, to be honest. Um, this is just a bit of fun. I don't know how it's going to affect 
just a little bit of balance. Uh, probably doesn't need to be anywhere near as far. So actually, let's hold it back there. In fact, it's probably going to be there if it's going to have any. That way, so you get this triangle shape here, possibly, and then the cascade down there. Okay, so this is my first ever wired up full cascade. Um, we're definitely in the basic stages. It's taking it straight from a five-year-old cutting. But we'll give a spin of that, and then I'm going to just quickly, very, very carefully, pot it up. So I'm assuming front is, is sort of like that. We'll see how this develops. I've um, got some definitely defined levels where new pads will come out from the front on. I think that's okay. We've got a good height down the base of the pot. In fact, it's literally just at the base of the pot. So I'll have to have a look and see what the rules say about that. This one's too long, but yeah, it's, it's giving the impression of what it's going to be, which is important. Probably that's going to be the next leader on it. Same with these, a bit long. Um, and then I do like this daughter cascade that's going with it. because that's presenting another potential front of there. So if you had a choice of the front, would you go for that one? Or would you go for that one? Let me know in the comments. Right, we need to carefully get that out. I'm gonna put that into there and come back to you. Okay, so truthfully, I have um, a lot more confidence in doing these sort of, um, these repots on Chinese elms. It's not gonna be any root work. I'm literally gonna take it out of the basket and put it into this. Um, all we've got there, a little bit of mesh at the bottom. I like the, the flowers. So the flowers is going to be the front. Uh, the soil I'm using, same thing I've always got. A little bit more, I tend to find with Chinese elm, I'll put a little bit more um, organic. So there is a little bit more peat based and sort of garden center stuff in there. Probably an extra, it's probably 20, 30% in there. Just adding a little bit of the charcoal, activated charcoal, which say Harry Harrington and all that swear by. Should be relatively busy. I'm a little bit worried because the soil itself is quite um, friable there. But let's just make sure we haven't got any roots that are gonna they're gonna hinder getting out of this. It's a little little root there. Not massive root growth, so here we go. Well, let's get the weeds off as well. It's funny to think, all this time I've never really attempted it. I think I've got it quite good now. This is the difficult bit. Okay. This is where I've got to be a little bit careful. And I will definitely need rocks in here to hold that in. I'm just trying to break the root so they go in a downward direction. Okay, so that's potted in. Well, I'm really happy. I mean, I'm really happy. I don't know what you think, but for my first ever cascade attempt, um, legitimate. I know it's early stages, but if you can tell, I'm quite excited about this. Um, and my little, my little fisherman, he yelled out at me, 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 me. It was either him or a, uh, a tortoise. And I thought, well, mind you, upset with him, he's broken his fishing pole. So let's give it a spin, shall we? I'm, um, I didn't expect it to come out quite so well, to be honest. And now that I've tried it, I know what I'm looking for in the future. It's sustainable. But best of all, it's all me. And you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of you out there now who, who are actually not buying stock, you're actually 
creating it yourself. And I know there are a lot who have been doing it, but me, you know, a lot of you I'm sure say it's all right. You've got loads of stuff that's already been produced and ready and it's easy to do bonsai when it's like that. So I suppose from, from my perspective, when I get the opportunity to show off what I can do from a cutting stage, yeah, I, I get a sense of how, how, how much satisfaction I like. So say Taco. If you haven't seen Taco, Taco's bonsai, um, he's unique. He's American, but we can forgive him that. But he produces content nearly every day. Um, it's very point of view. Is that POV? I'm not sure whether that, I think, I think my lad's computer blocks anything that says POV, but I'm not sure why. Answers in the comments, please. Um, but uh, I shouldn't go there. But he does a lot of stuff, as do a few, but Taco in particular, I watch a lot of his stuff, because he just takes everything from the start, and he's got so much starter material. Um, I really would uh, ask, have, a, have another look. See, see if you haven't already seen his channel, uh, links, I'll link one of his videos here. Take the time to watch. Um, yeah, anyway. Very happy. Um, and uh, by now, hopefully, there's another smaller creator. Um, I think it's the Bonsai Project Kerno. Uh, Dan, he did the uh, top seven from seven. Well, actually, the top ten from however many questions. And again, he's another one. Smaller collection, but determined to... to start from the beginning and I can imagine a lot of these creators, Jonas, well there's a whole lot you watch, I start naming and then I'll upset people I haven't named, there's too many to name but if they stick with it in another six, seven, eight years they'll have collections that are equally as good as Nigel Saunders and like Nigel's they'll all be their own work I mean, I've got some that's my own work but I've got some that uh, I've paid for, which is fine I'm off on a dribble again, aren't I? But anyway I'll put the links before for the, below for those channels. I'm just ecstatic. I'm so very happy with that list. So anyway, while I was looking for my uh, my fishman, I said to myself, I do actually have another cascade of such, which I thought I'd better show you because um, it happened organically, which means I didn't really do anything. This one, I've, I've done, I keep staring at it. I can't believe it. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> Especially, I like looking through the gap there where you've got those um, those twin the twin trunk cascades coming through. Really, really love it. Okay. Yeah, watch me drop it. Now, um, and this is where that's going to get thoroughly watered. It's going to stay in the shade and fed, fed well. And I need that to absolutely throw out loads and loads of growth. And then I'll probably do clip and grow on it. A while back, I um I had this uh, Cape Nasta and uh, like all things when we think cascade or oh, I'll just put it down like that definitely not your typical cascade in fact it's more likely going bordering towards semi cascade actually but I've just got to do some um, some pruning don't I and that's what I'm going to do so in fact that's right in a junction point so we don't want that there don't want that there we're going to have a little crown here forming some pads there we've got pad levels there and then there will be the next one if I'm looking semi oh, I've got this little one down here as well so that's interesting coming to the back here backward growth don't want height there. Okay, too far back. The important thing is you're trying to create your levels and layers as you do with all of these. There's something here we don't need. It's going right across. It's time to bring it right back in. We've got another level here. Let that grow out a bit. This level here, we don't want it going up. Or that this going right across the plant there don't want that ah we've got an easy win here so we'll get rid of this heavy branch here that's what we've got under here it's a lot better uh, so we've got this pad here 
we've got something coming up there. This is a nice pad in here, but that's going out too far. Don't want going up. Then going down a level here, but we've got something underneath here, which we don't really want. Got another pad level there. Get the tip out. Another one here. Tip out. I would imagine we're going to be stopping somewhere around there. So I believe I can fly. I do believe I've now, purely through the skills of um, clip and grow, created a Coteniasta cascade. And that was done without wire, and I think that looks just as good now that I've created the definition. Down in the comments, what do you think? So, only one thing left to say. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. If you've enjoyed this um, cascade experience, hit like, hit bell notification, hit someone you don't like. No, 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 don't, don't do that. I do say the most stupid things, don't I? It's like my bonsai, a bit hit and miss. Anyway, from Xavier, who's absolutely over the, over the moon. You can tell I'm over the moon. Sometimes I really do enjoy this. Today, I love bonsai. And I'm glad I've got to share it with you. So thanks very much for joining. All the best. God bless. Happy bonsai. Cheers.